In this video, I'm going to show you how to use our farm builder. This will enable you to build farms very, very quickly, very, very easily. Add them to any website anywhere in the world. We're going to use this one as an example today and then collect leads straight into your system from anywhere in the world. So first of all, you click on leads and you go to farm builder. Then you're going to click add new. Okay, so we need to name our farm. So I'm going to call this locked out of car because I can see from when we set up industries and niches in earlier videos, you can see we've got lost car keys, locks before locked out of car. So let's have this as a locked out of car one. And let's have it locked out of car websites as the lead source. Now the reason you want a lead source is you want to track exactly where all your leads come from. So you know if your advertising campaigns, your SEO campaigns, your Facebook ads, whatever it is you're doing are profitable, okay? If you have only got one small website or you're only targeting a very, very small area, you can increase conversions by not asking the customer's address. Okay, now what, so the reason we've got this is default location. Let's say we were just targeting people locked out of car in Manchester, UK. We just type in Manchester, UK, and we know that the lead will go to the right person in the right location every single time because it's a Manchester. So in this situation, you don't need to ask the full address. Okay, we're not going to use that today. I'm going to show you how to create a proper form. But just, just so that you know, for future reference, if you've only got a specific small area and you're only going to certain people, you don't need to have asked the address and it will increase conversions. Right, toggle style options. Okay, in fact, I'm not going to touch this yet because what we're going to do is we're going to build the form first and I'm going to show you that working inside of a website. So for example, if you just click this user details, you can drag it across like this or you can actually just click on it and it'll add it to the bottom. So boom. Right, now user details is going to have name, full address. We could probably get rid of address line two and three. You want a zip or postcode. Now, if you want to make sure that that's a zip code, if it's the US or postcode, if it's the UK and that's edited there. Telephone number, we probably would make this required. So you just click on your required field over here. I'm not gonna build an extensive form. You will get the idea very, very quickly. Now, if you wanted a date added to the system, you just drag and drop the date in there. If you want a select box, you drag this in, put it anywhere you want in the list and choose option one, two, or three. Now, if you wanted them to choose one, you can also make this required. Okay, now, I'm not gonna to go too far with this at the minute. I'm just gonna click save and preview. And you can see we've got a locked out of car form and that is what the form would look like. Right, so what we do is on the right hand side here, you've got a iframe the height so you can copy and paste this code into any website in the world so let's copy that and let's go over to the website we we're looking at earlier and then what we're going to do is we're going to add it here where this form is so first thing i'm going to do is delete the other form then i'm going to go in and grab a text editor so just a text box normal text box and i'm going to drop it in there then what you're going to do is you're going to come over to this bit here and you're going to select text instead of, instead of visual. And what that means is it'll accept HTML. Click save. So as you can see, we now have a form and we can go up and view this page. View page. Okay, so you're going to look at that and you're going to think to yourself, I don't want that ugly looking form on my client's website. Totally understand, totally agree with you. Right, so then what we're going to do is look at the style options in this form. So we're going to click edit form again. And the first thing I would look at straight away is think it's a big form. Imagine that's got 10, 15, 20 questions. That's going to stop customers from filling it in. So the first thing I would probably do is scroll back down here and I'd say page breaks. So I'd have name. Okay, and then we can save and preview again. We don't need to preview it in there anymore because now we can click refresh. And as you can see, we've got the next button here. Okay, and it automatically grows and shrinks with what you're doing. So you can take the client's information and it's much, much prettier. It's a lot, it increases conversions massively when you split the form like that. Right, next thing what we probably need to do is then make it look a bit nicer because at the minute it looks terrible. 
So we'll go toggle styling options and let's go and make the background clear. So now it's gonna fit with what we're already doing. Okay, so we've got a few color options here. So let's make the back button red instead of just text as it was before. Let's make the next button green. And let's put submit for the final button. And then, thank you. Thank you, we'll contact you soon with the quotation. Something like them, okay? What would always, then let's click save and preview. Well, let's see what difference this has made to the farm. Now it's starting to look much better. As you can see, you pop your name in, scroll across, and you're gonna get each section as you want it. So it's gonna look much, much nicer. I'm gonna put 4th Street, 90210, telephone, email, and we're gonna submit that. Now we go back over to the system. That will actually have been submitted into our system automatically, but I will show you that shortly. What I would also suggest is having a recapture on your farm so you don't get spammed. You can also have it see your farm auto prospects. And I'm gonna switch that on now because I didn't have it on a minute ago. Okay, so we've submitted that farm. We're just saving that there. Now we'll go back over to the system, click on leads. And as you can see, we have a lead in the system. It could have been sold three times, hasn't been sold at all. So we click on that. And as you can see, that's in Beverly Hills 90210. That's why I put Full Street, because I didn't really know what I was doing. But as you can see, we've got no lead buyers in the system and no prospects in the system. Now we've got a button down here, which we can click. And what this is going to do now, this is going to go out and find any auto locksmiths who do locked out of car services in Beverly Hills. And as you can see, we've now got Lots of different people, all based within a 10 mile radius of this lead. So you give them a quick bell, say, do you wanna buy a lead or do you want a free lead to join my system? If they say yes, you click convert. You add their first and last name and email address, click convert, and it will add them into their system within a 10 mile radius of their central location for locked out of keys, locked out of car, sorry. So in fact, let me just open a different page to explain this to you. In fact, first of all, I'll show you the auto prospecting farm now. So let's go back over to here and let's hit refresh. Okay, so we're gonna have name, Mike. Then we're gonna have Horse Street, let's say one, two, three, four, five. So we're nowhere near Beverly Hills. Then we're gonna do zip code. And then we're gonna put email. And then what we're also gonna do is click the recapture, which we've just switched on, which I would recommend having because then, now what this is doing, thank you, we'll be contacted soon with a quotation. Now, if we go back into the system, click on leads. As you can see, we now have two leads in the system, one, two, three, four, five, and nine, oh, two, one, oh. Okay, I don't know where one, two, three, four, five is, but it's not picked up a location. <laughs> Let me choose an area we know. I don't even know if that is a zip code, but I don't. I guess it's not. Let's just do New York zip code. One, 
Now we go back over to Leeds, and we should have a, a, a lead in New York. And as you can see, we're now in New York. But also, the system, because we turn on Auto Prospecting, the tab above the Capture tab, it's automatically gone out and found people that do vehicle unlocking in New York, in the areas that we want, within a 10 mile radius of that specific lead, and you can instantly just grab these guys and speak to them. So the Auto Prospecting works like that. So if you don't quite understand how the system works, what I'm gonna do is just open a little thing. Okay, so as you can see from the white screen in front of you, what I want you to do is um, picture this as your system, okay? So this is your system here, okay? And this is one of your farms, one of your farms, one of your farms. So these are farms you've got all over the place, all over the world, yep. So let's say this was from somebody's website. This is from an ad. This is from maybe a Facebook page. Another ad here, another site. Okay, and remember you've got lead sources inside your system. Add, add, site, Facebook. Okay, so every time a lead comes into one of these forms here, it's gonna then come into your system like this from everywhere in the world. Now you've also got to realize that if you've got lead buyers inside your system, what it's then going to do is gonna send these leads to the right lead buyer in the right location every single time on complete autopilot. Meaning it basically collects, distributes, and sells leads on complete autopilot for you. But if it's not, if you don't already have lead buyers in your system, then what it does is it can auto prospect for you. So you've got a list of prospects in your system and it does up to 20 for every single form fill and up to 20 from every single phone call that comes in. Meaning if you've got 10 phone calls that come into your system, you could have potentially 200 prospects in your system if you've got no prospects already. If you've got 10 form fills come in, same situation. So basically what it does is it automates the whole lead sales, sales process from start to finish. It collects, distributes, and sells all of your leads on complete autopilot for you. Okay, thank you very much. Cheers, bye-bye.